Okay, I am back now with, now I'm going to start the ephemera part of this project for this swap that I am doing. And I'm doing the cheater part first, I consider, I don't know, maybe pulling stuff from my stash is actually the cheater part, part excuse me. But I think this is too, because I just went ahead and bought a sheet of the paper, because I'm going to, excuse me, cut these up, because they coordinate with, and, and they, they're just pretty, okay, just pretty. So I wanted to go ahead and use up this paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and add them to my folder. Well, who knew that cutting up a bunch of little of these little tags is going to be such a travail you guys can tell I was having trouble getting my light to work on my caterpillar and it's because I've lost the door that keeps the batteries in place so I had to use tape and it wasn't working very well and then of course then when I got it working I realized that I really didn't need it so that was the ultimate irony of the whole situation but anyway I have got 12 of these pieces cut up so I'm going to go ahead, and since I have four folders, I'm not in any particular order going to put three of them in each one. So we're going to start off our ephemera account, which is putting three cards. And you know what? I'm going to put, I'm, you know, even though I'm not putting them in any particular order, but I want to give this one a typewriter because it wants a typewriter. And now we're going to take these three. Oh, I love that. They're just all so pretty that no matter what, there's no wastage. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but on the back side, of all of these are frames so if they don't like the front for whatever reason I can't imagine they can always cut it down and cut it out and use it as a frame so I have those so that you know it's like whoops and when you do this be careful what you're doing so that you don't mangle somebody's folder so I've got all of these so I've got my four at least now I'm three down I also went and had gone through my stash so what I'm adding to these ephemera is I found these chipboard frames that I had. So everybody gets one. So now we're up to five and I'll put them, put it, go ahead and put them for the moment, at least on this side and we'll figure things out. So that's one. They're pretty solid. These are nice ones. I think these are recollections. It's kind of the stuff that, you know, you buy because it's on sale or whatever. And I'll find a use for it. Well, I, I probably had it for who knows how long. But I finally found a use from there. They, I knew that moment would come. So now I can give them away. Somebody else can figure it out. And then because I thought it matched really well with this, I found some doilies that, again, who knows how long I've had. I mean, I paid a buck for them back in the day. When or where, I don't know. It could have been an expo. There's a part of me that thinks that this is an expo buy. So I'm going to go ahead right now. And not weasel, but I'm going to get everybody. Not because I'm being a weasel, or though, let's see, there's several. If I can get them to be, they're like, it. yeah, they're pretty, I'm going to go ahead and, gosh, there's so much of these that, whoops, no, I need four. So they seem to be set, multiple stuck together. So I'm just going to go ahead. This one, they seem, I want them to feel about the same. They're all about the same. Okay. So I don't know how many are in there, but we're going to count them as one. So that brings my count up to five on the ephemera that everybody is whoops getting and these will just be really really cute and i know that it's more than that because i know i can tell that there's several like three stuck together but that's okay that's all right i am not gonna so i'm just gonna leave these open for right now so now i have that my next 
from my stash. This too, we'll put these over here. That came from my stashes. I found these. I know I bought these also, probably on sale, on clearance, on whatever, from Michaels. But aren't they really pretty tags? So I figure I'm just going to give them each. Each one of my recipients will get a tag that is so pretty. And then they can, you know, it'll be an opportunity for them to distress it up. So that's now six. So there's one there. I'm putting them out. I'm way out of, so I am sorry for that. One here. Set it aside for a moment. And then one here. So again, that gives me now, I am up to six. And we'll bring these back because what I'm going to add next is, let me put this away really quickly. And I have like two or three packages of this, so I have a problem with being generous. But I also don't want to be Weasley by just giving me these tags. I want people to feel like they're my, my, um, trading partners are getting something worth it. I bought these also when I was at Frank Garcia specifically because I thought they matched this perfectly and I got into all the mode forgetting that I don't know how they're going to use these. Well, it's, it's not necessarily to decorate these or what, but you know, there you go. I'm insane. <laughs> we all knew this. Okay. Remember whose channel you're, you know, you've dialed into. So I am the mad scrapper, but I figured it out that everybody can get two rows of these blingy things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to try to cut them out as straight as I can. And I think I can. So it's just, let me just pay attention. Although it's like I say some days, I'm too poor to pay attention. <laughs> but there's right here. So give me a second. I'm going to do that there and then go for the next row. But these are just so pretty. These are from P Prima, and Prima just has some of the most beautiful ephemera ever. And it is, say it with crystals, magic. It's Frank Garcia's Magic Love. So if you're looking for just some beautiful, beautiful ephemera, I don't know why I didn't buy some for myself. But again, the store's five miles, and I think it, I was just telling Peanut Gallery that I wanted to get go buy there on our way out. So I may stop there and pick some of these up for myself. So we're going to add these in now. Everybody gets, or my trade partners is going to get some blingage, a little strip of bling, but this is not the only bling I'm giving them because I have it here to my side. Okay. Is I have some of these and this is not as like fantastical. This is, do this is from the Dollar Tree guys. So this is not like, oh my gosh, drop then. But, you know, we all, nope, we, there's never too much bling. So I'm just going to cut these up. See, how many rows do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Really? So divided by 4 is I'm gonna have five rows each. It took me a second. Hello, I know my multiplication table. One, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna give them this whole sheet because of course I paid so much for them. But one, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And in the interest of fairness, somebody's going to get six. So one of my partners is going to get six. And, or I should make, I don't know, maybe I should make all the same and I'll just keep that row of one. Trust me, I'll find. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it fair for everybody. I don't want to somewhat for VNA to get an email, say, how come everybody else got, or she says, how come she got five? We all, I mean, six and we only got five. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. I just have visions of insanity like that. But so now we're up to, right, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm up to eight pieces of ephemera. So I'm essentially pretty much at the halfway point of the goodie jobbers that I have to put in here. And I still have to make my hidden paper clip because that is part, that is part and parcel of this. So I am now up to eight. And I want it, what else if I have in here? Oh, I was going to include this again is, I don't know where I got these, but I'm going to throw some in here. Let me go over here because what I have 
is a ton. I want to put these in a little Ziploc bag. Okay, these might, these are my, oh, there we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. It's amazing how sometimes, okay, so one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to throw in, you know, two or three butterflies because I have four of these packages. It is not like I have a dearth of ephemera. Or these butterflies in any way. It's like, holy mackerel, I can't even get the darn little bag open. So let's see. I'm going to give them a little package of butterflies. So we're going to go with three. Let's see if, let's go with three for starters. Because I'm just going to give up the whole package. Again, this is stuff, guys, I can't even tell you. I mean, and I know that you all are like me. So I'm like, I don't want to hear any judging. We all do the same. We get stuff and then we stick it. And we stashed it because we are going to use it at some future date. My gosh, was that not perfect? It was a dozen. Totally, totally awesome. So now, oh, that's so cute. My, I'm just seeing a, a message from the peanut gallery because he sent me a message like, you called? And I did. I tried to call him to let him know that he went to work and left his sandwich here. So I just he so he sends me a text. I'm seeing it a flash on my computer or a, a messenger. And I said, You left your sandwich. He and he just replied, so he must be on a break right now. In capital letters, yes, I know. <laughs> poor guy. Oh my poor baby. He's gonna have um he's gonna go hungry. He's gonna starve to death. He's got he's lost a lot of weight intentionally. I wish I could do the same thing. But there you go. And I'm going to go ahead and while I'm at it, I'm going to throw in at least I'm going to throw in one of these. Everybody's going to get this again is from my stash. I throw in a clothes pin because this might be getting more dimensional than what I know VNA wanted us to keep these pretty flat. And I have tiny clothes pins. So we're going to throw in some tiny clothes pins too. Just because they're cute. So we'll probably like, you know, one big one and a couple of little ones, two or three little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to add this all to this little package and hopefully I don't get yelled at. One, okay, we'll do that. I have, I'm, I'm all intentioned. I have a very well-paved road to perdition. <laughs> yeah, one, two here. This is fun. I this is this I'm finding fun. It's like I, it, I I just you know I'm always like oh my gosh what am I what if I'm not this, they're gonna think oh my gosh I don't like this or it wasn't enough or because you know you get that self doubt bubbling up because you don't know what you're doing. So I'm gonna call these three because it's one butter you know. One, two, three. So that's what we're, we're going to call it. Is there anything else? Oh, I forgot. I did set these aside. I found this. These are also from my stash. These are from Dollar Tree. So I got these at Dollar Tree a while back. I have two packages. I mean, they had three, so I picked these two. So that everybody kind of sort of gets one. So that's four. So everybody, everybody in my little trade group is going to get one of these little clocks. It is just so pretty. So by all means, by the same token, guys, I think I saw at least mine had still had wood pieces left. But here, but anyway, go check your Dollar Tree if you're looking for more of these wood pieces. And I, that's all I'm going to throw in here. So that's four. So I'm going to call that, I'm going to close these little bags up so that everything doesn't go all over the place. So there's their little package of doodads. And we'll just insert that in there. That's one. So I think I'm up to 12 right now if I count it. You guys counting with me? <laughs> Somebody keep track. Because I can't count. I spell like you cannot imagine. I'm a natural speller. But don't ask me. Don't, don't tell me to add, please. You know, it's like, oof. Okay, so all I have left is literally, I only have two more pieces to make, and that is the tag. I plan on making some tags. Um, so let me come back because 
I have an evil plan. I know what I want to do. So give me a minute because I do have to make my paper clips. Here's the easy part of the paper clips. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So there are my paper clips. Everybody gets one. One of the hidden paper clips. That was part of it. And I want to figure out because I want to make with some of the scrap paper I have, I want to make like a little band or something so that it closes. So, you know, I just, you know, they can just wrap it around, but make it so it slides on and it adds a little piece of pretty and keeps this closed. So give me a minute. I'll be right back with the next with, you know, with probably either the paper clip or the tag or the frame, because those are the last three things that I wanted to make for this. All right. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went into obedient, disobedient mode. Was I being obediently disobedient or disobediently obedient? I'm not sure. But um, I know I wanted to make for these kids, I wanted to make like a background, some sort. And I actually thought I was going to use a frame. And I did die cut it, but it was too big to fit in there and I couldn't adapt it. So I decided, well, wait a minute, we're going to do this, you know, ephemera like for a card, then I'm just going to make a card front. So I went and decided to go find a 3D, one of my embossing folders. So give me a second, but I've decided this is going to be the one because it matches the paper that I am using. Why? I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. It all has to be matchy-matchy. So there you go. That is the madness of Myra. But I need to cut my paper down because I cut it because I was going to use a 5 by 7 um piece of paper completely obliter obliterating forgetting that that's the size of my folder that wasn't gonna work so I'm going so now I have to cut an extra piece of paper let me grab that real quick so give me a second because I'm gonna cut these down to size all right hold on okay I have my panels and then I also have all of these extra strips that are half wasted but not really because guess what I think I now have the backgrounds for my hidden paper clips so see a happy you know a mistake can sometimes be a happy mistake so I'm saving these bigger strips because I think that's what's going to be part of my um paper clip that I have to still decorate I have to come up with an evil plan for those so let's see what I come up with but anyway we are ready to I'm gonna emboss just one of them on camera and the rest I'll do um off but I'm going to go ahead and spritz this paper not too much just a bit just so that it emboss as well let's see if hopefully i didn't go too crazy with that i'm going to put it inside Let me center this as best i can go here yep that looks pretty good and now okay we're going to pull out mr big shot just because he has been ignored and unloved for a while so now let me see is this a 3d so I'm just going to try with one plate, see what happens, if it'll work with just one plate. Let's see. Okay, it's too soft. Okay, so we're going to have to play with this a little bit. I should have done it. I should have. I'm going to go with, I don't think that's going to be, I'm going to try it with one plate and all pads. Let's see what happens. And if not, I'm going to have to fiddly, we, we will fiddly fart this until it goes. Let's see, is it going to go? Yeah, it's not it's not gonna want so that's too much. So let's take out the thing is that this one's much thicker than this one. So it's like that one's too much, this one's too little. Unless I'm pretty sure let's try this. Let's watch Myra struggle. Oh no, I think it might be just enough. Let's find out. It was just right. Oh me of little faith. Let's see. Let's take a peek without pulling it out straighten out oh yeah oh yeah beautiful that's it guys so that is the background i'm going to add to my kits isn't that pretty oh i just love this 3d and this is i believe it's a tim holtz no it is not but it is a Sizzix. it's a 3d textured impressions oh i love this one i i love it okay so i'll be right back i'm going to do the other three real quick okay i'm still on a roll and I, I'm shamelessly going to steal VNA's idea. Forgive me, VNA. But I dug up my set because I got them too from, I think it was the last craft day or the one before that, of the Anna Griffin embossing, these die cut embossings. And I was going through my paper because I knew I wanted to do gold too because if we're going to copy, we're going to copy. And I hit the pink and I realized, no, I'm going to do it. 
to match the the pink to match the the pink in there because you know I'm on a matchy matchy roll right roll right now. So I'm gonna grab one or two pieces of paper. This is from my stash of tonic that slowly but surely I'm working down. I think I don't need if I need I don't know if I'll need two pieces, but I'll sure need one uh, one. Oh my goodness! So and what I need to do is because I don't need I just needed to cut. I just need to put the paper in wide enough. Where's my ruler? Ruler, ruler, ruler. Where's my, I don't know where my Tim Holtz ruler went. It went, went, went AWOL. So these guys, so if I go a little bit outside, I think if I cut my paper, you know, at four, no. It's a little bit bigger than, let's see, who, this guy looks the widest. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut it four and a half. Four and a half by six and a quarter six and a quarter is going to be more than enough okay give me one second i'll be right back okay so i changed my mind i decided i was going to whip out my empress anyway to do to go ahead and do these since i'm using my anna griffin folder um so i lied about not pulling it out i it took me a minute because i had to rearrange my desk so i could because my empress literally is what holds this the um the arm here that holds my camera in place it is the counterweight to it so i had to rearrange a little bit and lucky for me you guys the mess that's on my desk right now is out of camera angle <laughs> you guys don't see the hot mess this desk is right now but i know you guys can imagine it because i know i you, you know creativity is many things but neat is not one of them so anyway so i'm ready to die cut or to both emboss and cut these and I really quick took a peek because for once in my life, I read the instructions. I looked at the instructions for my little embossing folder set here. And it told me all I needed was the folder and the two embossing plates. So we're going to take Anna at her word. So let's find out. So let's you know, go ahead and run this. Come on, my pretty. I love this. I'm not sure at this point in my life which one of my machines I love more because you guys know if you follow me long enough you know I also have the Gemini but I you know and I had this on sale a while back and I just I couldn't resist and even oh my god it's perfect oh my god never mind as I'm going off in left field okay let's pull these up wow it really wants to it's really hugging these there we go we're just gonna there we go pop them out there we go I just want to force it because I don't want to tear this paper because it'll make me really, really, really sad. So, oh my gosh, look how pretty those turned out. So I'm going to decide. I'm, I'm just going to cut up the three pieces of paper I have here and then I'm going to decide if everybody gets two or three. Um, I'm going to take an ephemera account and figure this out, okay? Hang on, so I'm going to cut them all out. Give me, be right back. Okay, I am back. I got all of them cut. I did the math really quickly and I figured out that I, everybody gets one of each of these. So every one of my little kits is going to get three. Oh, look, and they fit in these little folders perfectly. Let me put them, I'm going to put them face up so that when they fold over. I know, it's a little crazy thing, but there you go. Anybody nice to think about attention to detail? I don't think this is what she meant, but there you go. They must be face up in the little bag, my little cellophane bag, so... There we go really quickly with packages because now I'm down to the paper clip and what's the other thing I'm making? Um, oh, and the two other little tags because I got the paper, so I want to cut a couple of tags out with um, the pa the extra the floral paper that are gonna be really really pretty. Just a couple of simple tags to add to it. So there is more. So. Now, where is my paper? I'm going to do, give me one second. Let me grab the paper and let me grab the dies. Okay, never ever underestimate where you're going to find what you need. I know I have the Tim Holtz dies that cut tags out. Now, do you think I can find them? Oh, heck no. Have no clue. They're not in the logical place they should be, which is the bin I have assigned all of Tim Holtz stuff in. So now I don't know. I don't know. I may have loaned them out. I'm notorious for loaning my stuff out and then not knowing who the heck has it. But be that as it may, this worked out better. 
I have had this since last year from one of the craft days before the holidays last year. And I have all four of them, so I'm going to show them to you really quick. It's just these, the Gemini. This is the Crafter's Companion. They came with the paper. You can make the tags just to do these little gift jars. And um, they HSN still have them, and I think they're on sale. I think they're marked down. So if I'm right, I will link you down below to these. But this is the one I'm going to use because... You don't need the stamps. We don't need gingerbread cookie. It's the wrong season for this. <laughs> but it has all of these pretty dyes. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use, I took a quick peek. I'm going to use this one. Take that one out. And I want to make the bottom foo foo fancy too. So now I just have to decide how long. I'm just going to cut my paper in strips and, and figure it out from there because I'm going to use. I'm going to use the paper as soon as I find it. I want to use these. So I'm going to die cut um, tags from both of these sheets of paper because that was the entire plan when I bought it. That's why I got these two sheets of paper just for the, the die cut tags. So I'll probably make them like, what? What do you guys think? Three or four inches? Let's see. If I go, is that four inches too long? No, I'm going to make, I'm going to, I'm going to do four inches. So, and I need to cut my strips out. How wide? Why don't, we do, why don't we just do it this way? Hello. Genius. It looks like two and a half inches is what my my paper needs to be. Yeah, just, okay. I, I Actually, I think it's dead on. I can do two and a half inches. I may go two and five eighths just so it literally does cut it out. So we will see. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna cut my strips. I gotta think this for a second, but I'm gonna cut the. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna think it out, cut them back, and we'll be ready to die cut. Okay, I'm back. I have my strips all cut up, and actually two and five eighths was exactly the perfect size. So now I'm just gonna put this right here on the very very edge. I'm gonna put. Mind you, I should mark this. Maybe before... Uh, we're going to put this down for right now. And if nothing else, I'll rethink that strategy. Because I have to figure out where my four inches are. Where's my pencil? I want to mark this. I'm going to take a ruler. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's my water? I have coffee, but not water. <clears throat> and that's not lined up anyway, right? So I have to re stick it down. I see, I see it. I see it. You guys can stop screaming now. A tick mark here and a tick mark at eight. Okay. Now, we're going to stop being a dingbat. We're going to put this, here we go. Flush at the top, right up against it. And then where's my little tick mark that I now wanted to make it so small so it wouldn't be noticeable. Now I can't see it. I found it. <laughs> it's just like, oh, Lord have mercy, child. <sighs> I'm special. What can I say, guys? And nowhere to go again. Oof. I should have just drawn a little line. There it is. I see it. You know what, what I could do here is, there we go. Hello, hopefully you get my still in camera angle, kind of, sort of. I'm sorry, I'm just putting it up against, so I can measure out four, four, four inches just off of the grid here on my mat. So for that, I'm sorry, I'll realign. Give me a second, I'm going to realign it so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. And now... Let's put this, let's load this up. We are going to, since I already have it out, now where are all my other handy dandy mats? Let's see. Let's see if it's good enough with Jess. I haven't used my Anna Griffin in a bit, so I don't know if I need my metal shim or not. We're about to find out, right? Go. Go, Anna, go. Go, Anna, go. Let's see if we cut it 
let's see it's almost there hang on there's I think I'm, I'm probably gonna have to snip so give me a second let me carefully peel my tape up so yeah I'm gonna have to when I do the next cut I'm definitely cutting the smaller for sure and right here it didn't did it cut all the way yeah it did it did it's no it didn't I have to run it that one I have to run I re, rerun it through hmm let's do that Yep, now it did it. Although, I'm not sure if I like it. I am, I and mean, oh, it's a, look, I did tear. But it's a good thing it's on the outside. Be very, very careful with this. And where are my scissors? Caesar, scissors. Nip it there. Nip it here. And then the same here. And right here. What do you guys think? I'm like, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it fancy only because I think the paper merits it. What I am going to do is... I'll, I'm going to cut them all out, and then I'm going to trim these little pieces off because they bother me. So I shouldn't have. I should have gone gone the two and a half, but that's okay. That's not. That's not. A, that's a quick trim. So give me a few minutes. I will be back with all of these tags cut out. All right, people. We are down to the home stretch. I have got all my. Let me set these aside here. So I've got. I took these out. So I'm all my tags already cut and trimmed already so they're all ready to rock and roll go into my packs i am now ready to make the paper clips i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> it's like a moment of true confession but we are going to do our best to wing it and not like totally fall flat on our face i'm going to pretty much to an extent mirror what um, the instructions VNA did on hers, I just finished rewatching them again just to be sure I knew what I was doing, which is like never. Um, I know that she made hers two inches wide, and I like that, so I'm going to go ahead and mimic her. So I'm going to go ahead and make my um, the insert, the one the paper clip goes in. I'm going to make it an inch and a half, or maybe even an inch and a quarter a piece, just so that they are not too wide. So I'm, I need four strips. And they don't need to be as long as the clip it's or rather it was long as the out uh, what's hiding it does that make sense so i just grabbed this is literally a scrap piece of paper i haven't a clue excuse me how long these are but we're going to make them work i'm hoping they're at least twice the paper clip oh yeah they're twice the paper clip that's all i care i am going to go ahead and follow her measurement so I'm going to have to cut a little bit extra blue because I this I want to make it seven inches like she does. I know this is not, this is six and a half. Really? That's just mean. But I know this piece, this piece of scrap is, so I'm just going to go seven inches. And then in a minute, I'm going to score it in half. I'm going to cut a couple of the pink ones that I know are two. I have two pieces that I know are at least two inches wide, right? Right. Okay. So we may do two blue, two pink. We're going to figure this out. I am so totally winging this and then you know winging it and like Wah! unless I make like seven prototypes I, I I get all twitchy so and hopefully yeah you can't see it I had to look up just to make sure I stood up that I was still in camera focus but um so I have got three here so if I want to do another one I have scraps of blue but they're a little bit and I could I suppose make one but no it's not going to see it's not going to be fair here I am, it's the mom in me. And I have, I saved all of my scraps here and we'll see what we can use, but I'm going to go ahead, where's my blue? I have blue here and I know that I have a scrap piece here. So let's see, are we lucky enough that it might be seven in, one way or another, it's gonna be seven inches. Let's see, what do we got going this way? It ain't gonna be seven inches, it's gonna be six and a half again. 
So, and this is over. So, okay, fine, whatever. Two inches. I don't care. The worst that can happen is that I have to buy more blue paper. Oh, the horror. <laughs> and now we have, okay, so here we are. So now I've got all my four pieces. Set this aside. Where is, oh, really, where is my, oh, here it is. It's right here. It's kind of hiding in plain sight. So here is my scoreboard. I am going to go ahead and score any everything because I'm crazy that way. Okay, so this is really four and a half. So two and a quarter does not look like two and a half. It's almost, okay, right? No, four and three quarters. So, right? Oh, hell. Why am I torturing myself with this? This is just the inside of the flipping paper clip. Pardon my, pardon that French there. Right. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Whoosh. Sometimes I am my own worst enemy. Cheese, bus. Oh, just shoot now. Okay, so we got all of these going. Look how fast I did that when I got over myself. Loser. Okay. Where's my other paper clip? Ha. Alrighty, so I've got those four. These I will score because I know that half of seven is three and a half. So this I will go ahead and score just so that way I, I did some, I, I could feel like I did something right. Okay, three and a half. Now what I do not have, and I am now going to acquire, where's the other pink piece of paper? I had to. Uh, nose I did that the same length it sure is I hid it for myself is I'm gonna get that the flag punch that she got that is really really handy because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna pseudo I'm not gonna wing it I'm gonna take a minute drive you guys crazy but I'm gonna measure out so that I can get my flag in the middle something this big I'm not gonna wing and when I gotta do four of them no so we'll put that up actually where it goes where's my pencil where is, you know what, hang on a second. Now I'm going to look for my Tim Holtz. Okay, I am ready to glue and I have decided to pull out the big guns. But what I'm going to do is move the Empress out of the way because I'm done die cutting. Let me put my pan. I had to take some time because I decided to um, pull out the big guns. I'm pulling out the reptile glue. But I didn't realize it's been quite a while since I used it and it was kind of clogged. I have pulled out a whole ton of glue out of the, out of the tip of the bottle. But um, it's what I decided I wanted to use because this is a pretty tight glue. It really is really sticky. So I am now ready to glue these pieces in. And I'm, Aisha, that's the problem when you um, unclog a bottle. It's really happy. So yeah, that's you know. Eek! Now I'm now I'm now we're all gonna be sticky. I mean, now I have to be very careful because it comes out. Oof. There we go. Okay, that kind of sort of backfired on me. But we're going to survive. And drop that down. Kind of center. And this is fairly fast drying glue, but I got to get the glue off my glues off my fingers. So that way I can close this. And I got to hold it in place. And with any amount of luck, this isn't going to backfire on me. If not, it will backfire on camera. Or you will never know about it because I'll just edit it out. <laughs> it's not, not a terrible thing to say. But I just want to hold this in place. And it feels, it feels like it's glued. It really does. I just had to let it because this dries a lot. It's just faster drying than barely art or any of the other glues. Okay. So let's see. Let's grab myself a piece of any old paper. I just want to find a sacrificial piece of paper. Okay. You look sacrificial enough. 
Now let's see if we can. There we go. So it clips. I think I pressed too hard because you can actually see the clip. And I believe that's not the intent. But actually, I'm going to camouflage it anyway with other stuff on top. So it's all good. I got this done. So give me a second and I'll be back with the other three all done. Okay, I'm back, but I was, I've was i been back longer than you think because I, I got carried away with trying to figure out what I was going to do. I made this big, huge, hot mess, but I also got started on working on these. So I've got this one already done. I'm just letting it dry right now, the, the tacky glue. So I just, you know, because we are supposed to decorate these. So then we will just go. We'll take that. I don't want to mess with it too much because I'm afraid I'm going to unglue it. So I'm going to let this dry and, and then put these together. But I've already got one done. Set this aside here. And we will now grab the other ones. I've got like the the beginnings of it. Or I have a semblance of an idea what I want to do. I've already grabbed some velvet ribbon that I had in the stash. And I'm just taking my tacky glue. And kind of stuck right now upside down where I keep my little paper clips. But now it's picking up all the tape paper clips. But I'm going to put this on all of them. That will be the one consistent thing. Well, that and let me go ahead and trim these up. Whoops. There's always that little piece that decides it wants to be Gandhi. Be passive non-cooperation. But yeah, there we go. Oops. So see this. I've got to let it dry or it's not going to glow. I may not glue it. I may be hitting it with hot glue in the morning. We'll find out. What do you think if I leave it? I just let it set. And maybe I won't. Maybe I do have to hit it. You know, that's what I think I'm going to do. Let me pick this up. Oh, the other one is setting. I think I just need to leave it alone. There we go. I just got to let it set. Center it down. Press it good. And what did I set? I had my little inkwell. I wanted to, I'm going to use some of these flowers. I just, this blank spot right there really, really, really bothers me. And that's, I'm like, you know what? I could just pop up, pop that up just a little tiny bit. Hopefully if PNA won't shoot me for it. Let's put that there. I'm going to use this, grab some of my dimensional tape. Oh, let's 
see here, go right here. And if not, if they, they don't they don't like it, they can always undo it off and use it somewhere else. Goodness gracious, can't get the tape off. There we go. I, I like that. And let me find the other one. Right, that one's set up. What can we put in here? Oh, we could probably put the... I don't know. Well, yeah. Wow, that worked. Go using here. You guys are going here, and you. I gotta press you down. Hang on. I just got a lot. Stop touching that. These two. What have I got here left? Now they got like the books. We have a telephone. Oh, we put the telephone here. Now the telephone. No. So yeah, I'm just gonna take and tape, take some tape to this. Oh, nice. I forgot. I ran out of tape on this and I haven't reloaded it. Where is my Nubo? I know I have somewhere in this hot mess. I have a tape runner. Hold on. I managed to find it. Yay. I'm sorry. I'm already going to put a little bit. Whoops. Maybe I should do it the right way. There we go. That's enough. To hold it down. Put it right. A little bit lower. I don't want it. And now, where are my roses? Are my roses right here? But I'm going to take some dimensional glue. Or do I want to just go ahead and use a dimensional tape? I'll use dimensional tape. So it's right here. Oops, too big. Right. There we go. Burnish that in. Come on, my pretty paper. And there we go. So now I feel like that's not so blank. Oh, that makes me happy. Now.
And yet again, I'm back, ready to do finishing touches. I semi-packed um, these, but I'm going to go back through and rearrange them, and I'll, I'll do it with you guys. But I wanted to have this because I still am compelled to want to put a flower, you know, dimensionalize this just a little bit, just to give it that little bit of pop. But I also wanted to have my paper clip in place, so that's why I waited till everything dried up. So that I could figure out the spacing without without ruining it without you know because this is such pretty pretty paper I want to add to it and not detract it. So I am going to dimensionalize. I'm going to add a couple of these pink got these pink flowers because they're just too pretty to not to not do so Let's go ahead and we're going to add this in so I'm just using a bit again of my Kolal 3d glue and I'm going to Turn it this way. I'm going to cover the one behind it just a little bit but I'm only tucking it in a little bit so that you can still see a little bit of the leaf hanging out. 
Now what I can't make up my mind is what am I going to do with this one that I set out. Or I can put in an anemone, anem anemone, anem that flower. <laughs> Whatever it's called, I can never pronounce it. I feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like the little fish from Nemo, the one that can't say it either. So let me see. Oh my goodness. I'm standing up now just to see because I can put, I don't think I have two roses. Although I don't have to make them the same, but that's where my obsession, my OCD kicks in. I don't want anybody to think that, you know, I favored one over the other when it's really all about the flowers. Um, so do I want to do that? I don't want to go down too far because then we're covering that beautiful typewriter. Although, that kind of looks cool too. I kind of like that too. So maybe, maybe that's what I do. I will just, and I'm going to, I still want to pop it up a little bit, but I'm going to, I will put a little bit less but the problem is okay my covering the leaves that I was protecting you know there I am it's like oof. I'm not even listening to myself all right let me think on this for a minute okay I made a decision I'm going to go ahead and go with the anemone anemone whatever it's name I'm still back in Nemo mode I'm gonna put that but I, I decided to go ahead and put that flower in because then it ties in the folder to my little hidden paper clip and we'll put it a little bit lower. It doesn't stick out as much. And I'm calling it good, guys. I feel now a little bit better that everybody is decorated nicely. And I can now sleep at night. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me get the other one. I'm going to do the other one up, too. And then I'll come back and we're going to um, pack these up. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I am back. I have now rearranged everything. I finished the folders. They're all nice and dry. And I am ready to start putting all of the ephemera inside of it. But the one thing, let me move these a little to the side here, just so I have a little workspace here. I wanted, I forgot that I wanted to add a little, so I grabbed like four of these little gumaflachis, and I wanted to put one on inside each of the folders. So I guess we're gonna start with this one because it's the one on top. And let's see, which do we want to do? Do we want to put the phone? Maybe we'll do the, I'm gonna, let me put the, the stack of books. And I've got an extra stack of books, so I like the stack of books better. But I did want to, now do we put it on that side or we do it on this side? I, I don't know why I feel like putting it on the right side. I don't know. Decisions, 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 right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like decisions of the indecisive. So we will, I think I'm going to put it on the left side. So we're, here's my little, I'm just going to, Dimensionalize it a little tiny bit. Where are my scissors? I just put, there we go. I just had them in right in front of me a minute ago. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop these up. And I'm just going to put one little piece of tape. That's all it's going to take. We'll tear that off and actually get it in the trash. And I've changed my mind again. We're going to put them right here. A little pile of books. And well, I'm going to set it aside for a minute. I'm going to do them all and then come back and then we're going to fill. So this one is different and a little foofier. Where's that phone? Because I really like that phone. Like, what do I want to put? I like the phone. I read. I really wanted to use the phone somewhere. So I don't know. But here, I just don't want to. I don't know what I want to cover, but I think I'm going to go where my gut said, which is right there. Because they don't, it, there's no rhyme or reason, really. I could sit here and analyze it to the nth degree. I just need to put, I'm going to put a piece right here. Yep. And then, doesn't have to, actually I have a piece right here that's going to work. There we go. I had it literally stuck to the arm of the, what holds my camera, my camera stand. Because I didn't, because I knew I was going to be cutting off pieces. Like, ah, oh, here, let me put it aside. So let's now just take these little, ugh, the backer paper. And I'm just going to put it right there. I have committed. No issues with commitment. Although I probably should be committed, but that's all, that's the whole other YouTube video. <laughs> okay, now we're up to this one. Let's look on the inside. 
And what have I got? I've got the open book, and I like the open book. I think the open book is going to go... I mean, what do I do? What do I cover? The flowers, I mean, the ribbon. Kind of a little of both. Put it in the middle. Goodness gracious, do I just not put it on at all? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. So I think I'm going to put it in that corner. In that corner! No. That's my little comedy shtick for the day. And I'm going to cut it in half now. Although I have those rectangular ones that are already cut up, but they're... Um, thicker. So, and I, I want them to pop up a little bit, but not a lot of it. So there we go. I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to come back, cut that down. We're going to see how this works. Let's see if I, if I eyeballed this correctly. I want to put this one here. Wow. I even impressed myself. Now, is this one going to work? This is the one. Wow. I think I did it. Yep. You don't see it. Woohoo. Look at me actually doing something right on the first try. Guys, go out and buy a lottery ticket. This doesn't happen often, especially when I'm like flying by the seat of my pants. And I really, really am. I didn't think this through. I just said, okay, I want to put these things down. I want to add a little something on the inside, a some, little something, something my scissors grab that and then last but not least oh there we go right there I have decided although I didn't did I do it on the other one yes I'm I'm just decided I'm not covering much except for some leaves so <coughs> excuse me there we go we're just gonna put that down all righty Oops, I almost put the books up upside down. And we'll just lean them over a little bit. And there we go. And now we're done. And we'll start with this one. So here it is. So this is, I ended up adding these two, two. I was talking when I was finishing these off that I wanted to dimensionalize. So I put those flowers there just to add a little bit, just something on the top to make it pop. And now I'm ready to put all my ephemera, all the good, good, goody stuff. So let's go through everything that's going in there one at a time. I've got an embossed backing. Now the point is, and I gotta see, because some of these is gonna go in easier like this one. I'm gonna have some trouble because I glued too wide actually. So let me see. I gotta watch, I gotta like this side, it's a little bit, there you go. But on this side, it will fit on the inside of the fold. So that's one thing I, I knew I had to be careful for. And then, so that's one. Two are my little doilies. And three, I'm going to go ahead and add my tag. I'm going to put my tag back there. So so that's three right there. And then we have our little, the die cuts, the embossed die cuts. So there's three there. So that's six. That brings our count up to six. And when, the point is that we have to have 15. I thought I was going to have enough. I actually had too much, believe it or not. So that's six right now. We're going to go... For the two die cut tabs I made. So that's seven and eight. We'll add them on this side. I have some of the, the um the say it with crystals from Prima. So that's going to be nine. I have a clock, and this is just a, a, a laser cut wood piece from um Dollar Tree. So that's ten. Okay, and we have the these the three by fours so 11 12 13 and then oh a frame I have one of these frames so it gets a frame so here is 14 and then last but not least I'm adding each one is getting one of the little pieces from the ephemera so there we go 15 pieces of ephemera and the paper clip I made it Yay! And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but that's one. So there you go. Give me a second. I'm going to refill all. I'm going to fill them all up now. Okay. 
right, <clears throat> I'm back. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. <laughs> now you guys know a bit of the process I go through when I do a swap. Heaven forbid it'd be easier, go easy, but this, but this is the first time I do a swap of this kind. So hopefully you can see these. I mean, each one, although they're two different. I mean, if I go this way, look, you know, they're, I use two different sheets of paper, but I made two of each, but each one is different because I, you know, I, I had to, I you know, used up the ephemera differently. So, I mean, I, I, there they are. I'm pleased. I'm ultimately pleased with how they turned out. So they're all individual. I hope that the people that receive them also are going to enjoy these. I put in, you know, I, I put myself in, I, I, when I made them, I made them with how I like it. So it's, 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 I'm looking at it from the point of view that this would, is what I would like to receive. So I'm hoping that that is in the spirit that it's received. Um, so hopefully you learned something from this. You learned, you know, to, to not obsess and which is great for me to say because I was obsessing. So go figure. Um, but I, I just really, I'm, I'm glad I did this. It took me out of my comfort zone. So that's one thing I want you guys to take away from it is get out of your comfort zone. You know, do something different, challenge yourself. So I'm really glad I did. And the one thing I forgot is, I don't know if you remember, I just said a few, a little bit ago that I go having enough things to put in there. Wasn't the problem was that I picked too much stuff out. And then, um, and cause I'd forgotten there was other things that I was going to do, like the tags that I ended up die cutting. So these are also the pieces I had already pulled. I pulled out the clothespins, extra butterflies, extra bling. So everybody's just going to get a bonus pack. Uh, so they're going to get bonus ephemera just because what else am I going to do with it? Right. <laughs> it's like, hopefully I won't get in trouble. <laughs> oh no. But anyway, hope you guys had fun hanging out with me, looking at my madness. And if you did, by all means, throw me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, tell me I'm crazy. It's all news. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying that. All right. And otherwise, if you want to see more of my madness, go ahead and subscribe and ding the bell and you will know when the mad scrapper is out there again doing God only knows when in the crafting corner of madness. And otherwise, guys, remember, we're all a little mad here, particularly me. So go ahead and scrap the madness. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Bye.